Namaskar everybody. I am a small farmer from small village in Baramati Tehsil uh, in Maharashtra. Now I am going to unfold the story of how tourism and agriculture in combination we are helping farmers to sustain livelihood, sustain income and sustain employment in the farm. As you all know, India is the agriculturist country and there are 11 crore farmers in India who are actually cultivating the land which is highest in the world and they are dwelling in 6.25 lakh villages which is again the highest in the world and they are cultivating 40 crore acre of land which is fifth highest in the world and mind you they are producing almost 300 million tons of food grains which is again second highest in the world and they are feeding 125 crore population which is second highest in the world and that is why my friends agriculture is not mere business or industry it's the true culture of India but in the recent past agriculture from 1970 the GDP ratio or GDP share of agriculture was 40 percent now it has decreased to just 16 percent now what are the reasons reasons is not because there were wrong policies in agriculture or uh, what I am to say is uh, this is only because of uh, development or growth in non-agricultural sector that is service and manufacturing. And here interesting fact I want to share in developed countries when an urban consumer buys agricultural produce the farmer gets 65 to 81 percent of the price while as in India how much do you think it, it would be? It is just 10 to 20 percent. So rest it goes in a wastage or rest it goes into spoilage because of less storage capacity and less retail activities happening in India. According to World Bank report 2011, the report states that unless and until we diversify agricultural sector and facilitate uh, rural non-farm entrepreneurship there is not going to be a growth in agriculture. Now here I want to share a true story of my grandfather. My grandfather was having 13 acre of ancestral land and he had six, uh, I mean four, uh, six uh, sons and two daughters. Because of problems in agriculture that input cost has increased. Uh, like fertilizer, seeds, labor cost and inadequate of uh, irrigation facilities and there is no electricity much and output also is not much. But here income is only once or twice a year but expenses are on a regular basis. That is the reason it happened that my one uncle joined army, one uncle joined MSCB as service two uncles joined sugar factory as workers and my father was the only who was doing, was doing the farming. While doing the farming because it is an irony that the educated or well uh, what I am saying intelligent son is sent to service to uh, other, other people's uh, uh, factories or home and the person the, the son who is not intelligent he is kept to do the farming. Uh, and that is what it happened. My father told me that you go and work in the city uh, and uh, that is how I came to uh, Pune for the higher studies. After higher studies, I started working in uh, tourism sector, almost working for next 17 years in tourism industry and having knowledge about tourism industry. On the other side, having hardcore farmers, family, son, uh, that was the idea in 2004 came up. In 2007, there is a national uh, policy on farmers and that states that there is urgent need for the rural non-farm employment. And unless and until we have something supplementary income source to the farming, unless and until we have something uh, 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 on non-farm sector just to avoid losses and inefficiency in storage and avoid middlemen. 
because as you saw that so the middleman is earning more than the farmer because farmer is getting only 10 to 20 percent of the price and this can happen to avoid the middleman this can happen that farmer can go to urban cities to sell their produce but that is not allowed because uh, in India farmer cannot uh, till uh, last year farmer was not able to uh, decide the price for the produce or it can happen that urban consumers can go to farm and in urban cities what nowadays we are seeing is uh, because of the nuclear families increased income levels fed up with the hectic routine life and looking out for short breaks and for the peaceful uh, in the peaceful places is on increase and that is the reason people are looking for uh, short breaks in peaceful areas like farms or hill stations like this in India there are 1146 million tourists who are taking tourism for uh, their peace and in 2004 before we launched the concept of agri tourism we did a market survey and found that 43 percent of the urban families or urban indians they don't have relatives left in the villages now if there is no farmer or no relative left in the villages how they will go and live like a farmer or work like a farmer or for that matter they will get produced from the farmer now here was the opportunity to combine agricultural products all within the tourism experience and when the urban tourist comes on the farm, he will stay like with the farmer's family, he will live like a farmer, he will work in the activities in the farm, he will also have a rural authentic food, he will enjoy, explore the rural culture, he will also explore the rural traditions and also buy agricultural produce directly from the farm. Also he will buy rural handicrafts from the villages and he will buy products from women certain groups in the villages. So these are the activities which are happening on the farm. The idea is to sell agricultural produce directly to the consumer avoiding the middleman. And hence in 2005 we launched the concept called agri tourism. In first we started on our farm in, in one year in 2005-2006 uh, we have hosted more than 13,000 tourists in one single year and that is where I thought this concept has to be replicated elsewhere in Maharashtra and in 2005-06 we started training programs with help of agricultural Mahatma Pune, agricultural university Rahuri and the result of that was till today from 2005 to 2014 we have 218 farmers in Maharashtra in 156 villages operating agri-tourism centers. What does this mean? This means that these villages are now clean, these villages are being conserving environment, these villages, women's shelter groups are getting uh, income from their products, farmers are getting income from their produce and the next generation of the farmers now they are staying on the farm. I have one example, the person who has left State Bank of India job and now he is doing agri-tourism on the farm and he is looking after his ancestral land. In 2004, in 2004 uh, there were uh, 4, 4 lakh 14,000 tourists visited all these 218 farmers generating uh, 2,700 2, employment and generating income to 14.5 crores, 2.25 million US dollars. Now this, what does this mean that what we have done is we have not innovated something. The idea of agri-tourism or agriculture and tourism is already there in European countries. But with the resources available, with the same application we are now designed have new application in India and with the concept of agri-tourism, we, what we do is we are the only farmer in India who gives license to drive bullock cart anywhere in the world and that is how uh, we are doing there. Uh, what does this mean? This means that everybody wants this license. Whenever they go on a bullock cart ride, they come back and I sign that certificate and give it to them. So it's interesting topic and very uh, simple idea but it is worth. Uh, what does this have given me or given the community? What is the win-win situation here is the community is benefiting out of agri-tourism because of direct selling to the consumers. Uh, the community like self-help groups is benefiting 
the village environment is getting conserved and on the other side, <coughs> government cannot give job to every farmer's son and daughter. So government is also happy that the migration is less from uh, rural areas to urban India and people are now uh, getting things. And the urban tourist, he is getting best agricultural produce directly from the farmer. He has the nostalgic feelings because everybody is sitting here, they have their forefathers or fathers, grandfathers, they, everybody was farmer. And you have the nostalgic feeling about agriculture. Everybody wants to be like a farmer. Everybody wants to go one or two days and enjoy like a farmer. Agritourism will give that uh, benefit to you. So it's a win-win situation for everybody. Agritourism also has got me a social respect with two national tourism awards from President of India, including five international awards from WTTC. And also I have a privilege, I was lucky to initiate 16th May as World Agritourism Day, now which is being supported by even WTO. After all, after all, after all, my objective is to keep family in the farm and farm in the family. Thank you very much. Jay.